Hi, it's Thursday morning. This is Niels Han Dynasty coming to you live from the basement, bringing you the news that no one else will. Uh, I'm probably going to get flagged for this, and uh, you know, I'm trying to grow my channel and whatnot. But uh, part of the reason why I did this, let me get better light here, is because uh, you know I want to give you guys information that I feel isn't being brought to you. This will probably get my channel flagged or whatever. You know, I'm trying to grow my channel, but I'm here to bring you guys facts. This is about America. It's not about China. It's not about Pakistan. It's not about Sri Lanka. It's not about none of those countries. This is about our country and the truth and facts that have not been brought to light until now. Yosan Dynasty. Here it is. Finishing his thoughts on a sitting president. Within his upcoming memoir, Holding the Line, a lifetime of defending democracy and American values, of which an extract he released to Fox News, Ronnie Jackson details an awkward exchange he had with his former boss, Barack Obama. During the 2020 campaign election, the now Texas congressman tweeted about Joe Biden's cognitive ability, urging the then Democrat candidate to take a mental exam. Then the extract, Mr. Jackson recounts what was happening at the time. Biden was on TV again, making crazy statements and concerning mental gaffes. He didn't know what state he was in or what office he was campaigning for the 2020 campaign season. He apparently thought at one point that he was running for the Senate and later couldn't remember what state he was campaigning in. This had been going on for months and was getting worse. 20 minutes later, he received an email from Obama that read, I have made a point of not commenting on your service in my successor's administration and have always spoken highly of you, both in public and in private. You always served me and my family well, and I have considered you not only a fine doctor and service member, but also a friend. That's why I have to express my disappointment at the cheap shot you took at Joe Biden by Twitter. It was unprofessional and beneath the office that you once held. It was also disrespectful to me and many friends you had in our administration. You were the personal physician for the President of the United States, as well as an Admiral in the US Navy. I expect better, and I hope upon reflection, that you will expect more of yourself in the future. But with 14 years serving as a White House physician to George Bush, Barack Obama, and Donald Trump, he believes he is a credible person to speak on Joe Biden's cognitive abilities. Roddy Jackson spoke on that email encounter with Obama in the podcast Grounded with Jim Banks in November. I just tweeted out, I retweeted the, 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 whatever they'd said, whatever Biden had done, and I just put, all I treated was wow, W-O-W, wow, with an exclamation mark. Wow, does anybody remember the, the cognitive test that I gave at real Donald Trump? Looks like somebody else needs a test. That's all I said, period. I drove down the road about another 20 minutes, ding, I got an email from President Obama, a scathing email. He just tore me up, an entire page about how disappointed he was in me and how it was beneath me as a physician and beneath me as an as a, as a officer in the military to be attacking uh, Joe Biden like this and it was a, it was a betrayal of, of the trust that he and his administration had put in me and he was so disappointed in me and yada yada and he hoped that I would do a better job in the future and it was, but I was just it was unbelievable it just really hit a nerve with a lot of people when Ronnie Jackson was working under the Trump administration in 2018 the then president was being criticized for not being mentally fit so Mr. Jackson told the president that perhaps he should prove those doubts was wrong and take a cognitive exam. Trump did, and he passed, leading Ronnie Jackson to face a long press conference where he took question after question from reporters. Within the podcast for November, he speaks on that cognitive test and the fact that he believes Joe Biden needs to take the same one to prove that he is sound of mind. The press attention and stuff, and all the time and energy they focused on trying to make President Trump look like he wasn't cognitively fit when he absolutely was, and he didn't do anything to, to, uh, to justify that. And then we did the test. He crushed it 30 out of 30. And then we get President Biden in there. This guy doesn't know where he's at. He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't even know what office he was running for at times. Right? He, it's very obvious to everyone in the, in the country right now that this guy's got some cognitive issues right now. I'm not his physician. I'm not diagnosing him. I haven't examined him. I don't know if he's got Alzheimer's or if he's got some kind of other, you know, I don't know what's happening, right? All I know is that he's got age-related cognitive decline. In June last year, Ronnie Jackson, along with 13 other members of Congress, wrote to the president urging him to take the test. The calls have gone unanswered. However, in the last year since, Biden has made numerous gaps, mixed up politicians' names, forgotten his own policies, and relied heavily on auto cues and cheat sheets. 
To this day, Ronnie Jackson continues to call on Joe Biden to sit the exam. Today, he tweeted, why does the media continue to cover for Biden's cognitive decline? It's undeniable he's too far gone. America is being destroyed because of Biden's lack of mental faculties, and the media is 100% complicit in the cover-up. A few hours... Wow. <laughs> Sorry, there's cat hairs. Uh, well, that about says everything. Uh, I hope you guys found this enlightening, entertaining, sickening, disgusting, whatever. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, again, I just try and bring you the information as I get it. Uh, I'm... Not, I'm not telling you who I voted for, who I didn't vote for. I've never said anything on the T on my channel about politics, but uh, you know this is news, and it is very, very, very much affecting us. And I quite frankly agree. The guy needs to take a cognitive test. I said that myself. But you know, I'm a dummy. I'm getting my channel flagged, and I'll probably be blackballed from YouTube the way I'm blackballed by my union. Uh, it's my life. It's, it's the Han Dynasty. You guys have a great morning.